I think there are a lot of guys, to, a lot of people to highlight on this Chiefs team to go, for gutting out this win. But like, it might be exhausting to say. It might be boring to say. I don't. I think Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback of all time. Of all time. And I and I don't think I've ever seen I ever seen or will ever see anyone play the position like he does. I don't They're, care. I don't care how many other Super Bowls the rest uh, he wins. I mean. Oh it, yeah, it absolutely doesn't matter. Like like in in, in my opinion. If because, he loses to the Eagles again, we're gonna have this. Con- I, I tweeted this like two or three years ago saying. If he if Mahomes gets one Super Bowl, it's going to be the same conversation about Aaron Rodgers right, that we're having, right. who I felt during his heyday was the greatest quarterback of all time that I've ever seen. You can kind of see things falling apart, maybe him not having the uh, mental uh, fortitude or leadership skills to actually be the GOAT, so I'll eat crow on that. But there's no hint of ego with Mahomes. He's like the ultimate team guy. He is incredible off schedule improvisationally we all understand that and he was but, doing all of the stuff that he did on one leg but he was really working the pocket yes this whole game absolutely 100 so, percent. So, i mean honestly the the narrative about him and the magic that he can make that's that's all just gravy because if you isolate him to being in the pocket he's still one of the top quarterbacks in the nfl he they it was it was a credit obviously to reed's offensive scheming that this happened as well but you know, while they were really having basically where they were really having a lot of trouble basically getting anything going on the ground, he was hitting shovel passes or essentially passes that looked like resembled laterals to Isaiah Pacheco to kind of stifle the Bengals defense because they were doing their absolute best to blitz and get home on Mahomes thinking that he wouldn't be able to escape them. And because of his creativity and because of his ability to know exactly when to let the ball leave his hands. He was able to get it to people to make things happen after the catch and behind the line of scrimmage and exploit the fact that when he was getting the ball to a guy like Pacheco or McKinnon, there were no defenders in sight. Yeah. They, 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 they were they were having to close really hard and really and from a from a distance to get to those guys. And when he wasn't doing that, he was gashing them with Marquez Marquez Valdez Scantling. Well, that was like, amazing too to see MVS kind of step up in this role and uh, frankly, especially when they was, needed him to. They really need. I mean, Kadarius Tony went down shocker. Um, sorry, a little salty about that, but he he's you know I don't I don't I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, it's just like. He's he's very dramatic, um, but uh, and the, Juju Smith Schuster as well. Yeah, they had to be, which which led them to trot out Marcus Kemp, one mm-hmm. a wide receiver that had literally played like eight to ten offensive. McCole snaps. Hardman also got injured, and McCole Hardman got injured. So they were just completely without receiving depth, and MVS was still able to make plays a little bit less so in the second half because of those great defensive adjustments by the Bengals, as I mentioned, and because Mahomes was beginning to like start to feel his ankle because of the adrenaline right. wearing off in the painkillers most likely. But the Bengals, I mean, they, they were not able to really get pressure on him in, in the, in the way that you could see on the other side of the field, the, the chiefs offensive line did enough to make sure that the pass rush did not get home, did not wreck the game, understanding Mahomes' limited mobility and as I said, it doesn't really matter, too, if you give him just enough time and he's on one leg, he's still incredible in the pocket. Yeah, that's really all he needed. Like, he didn't, in the sense that he didn't need 10 seconds in the pocket. Yeah. He needed just enough to make, to go, to process the field and exploit the matchups that he had in front of him. And Andy Reid is so skillful at using short area passes to, you know, maximize offensive chances um, as well as finding space in zone or, or, or re or reading coverage or, or, or be or training or kind of, you know, conditioning his players to be able to read what's in front of them. Mm-hmm. And Kelsey, despite being, you know, a, a lot of, despite being a huge, a part of the Bengals defensive game plan was still able to break out for a touchdown and, oh, was, yeah. and was still able to seven, eight catches himself. Exactly. And he had back spasms going into the game. Right. He was, he was, was a game time decision. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Like maybe he, in, in any other context, maybe he would have been probable, but they were trying to, at, at the very least, they were unsure about his right. health. He might've had to, they were, you know, Romo was saying at the start of the game, maybe he'll have to leave if he has a spasm. 
And and that's scary because Kelsey's the linchpin. But right. l- Kelsey got the bulk of his catches in the first half as well. Again, right. the 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 Bengals actually were successful at clamping down in the second half. But it, it just it didn't matter. I mean, Mahomes went for 326 yards yep. on 29 completions. And he should have had three touchdowns. He only had two, but Kadarius Tony dropped that one. Yep. Um, it's just, what else can you say? I mean, what else can you say? And and we, and I also want to mention too that like on the other on the other side of the ball, Chris Jones, um, Chris Chris Jones <sighs> cemented why he's he's I would say the best interior defensive lineman in the league, and because why whereas the Bills defensive line was even struggling to get some pressure on on the on the three backup offensive linemen, um. Cordell Volson, Hakeem Adenogy, and Max Sharping in in the Bengal uh, on the Bengals, Jones was making mincemeat out of these guys. Burrow Burrow I, Burrow got sacked four times in yep. the in the first half, three times in the first eight minutes of the game. It looked he, like it was like, oh my god, he will they they won't be able to complete a pass right. for the first. 10 minutes of the game and and which which made them i think adjust their offensive game plan a little bit which i think to to some good effect to a to a to a decent effect because basically what burrow needed to do is either get the ball out immediately to to either sharping or mix excuse me to either uh p ryan or mixon the, yeah. the running backs or take a chance with the weapons that he had which was the right thing to do jamar chase and t higgins both Yep. had two or three absolutely one of one fantastic grabs for huge huge yardage. The one on I mean, fourth down and double coverage exactly. for Jamar Chase and T Higgins uh, on that right near that right pylon for that toe tip touch. It toe was both tap touchdown. Both just fantastic plays. Just knowing your personnel and taking a chance for them to perform and for them to make things happen um, is exactly what they needed to do and what they what what they had in front of them given given the difficulties, given the attrition on their offensive line, and given the fact that. Their defense, while playing well and adjusting, was struggling to get that one play mm-hmm. that would maybe swing the game. That, that an, an interception, a sack, like they they got. I believe they they did recover. A, they recovered that kind of strange fumble from Mahomes. From Mahomes, yeah. Sam Hubbard recovered that fumble, but no interceptions from Mahomes. Right. Two from Burrow, although the second one was essentially a punt. Right, but, right, because um, of how far back they were. Right, and, yeah, and yeah, Josh yeah. Williams, I believe, ran backwards a little bit too, so it, it was, it was like, on their twelve yard line. They were going to punt anyway. It right. was a, yeah. 